Hello, and welcome to the Chiaroscuro Jazz Podcasts. I'm George Graham, Director of Artistry and Repertoire for the Venerable Jazz Label, celebrating our 50th anniversary and featuring over 100 titles by some of the world's great jazz musicians. This time we feature pianist Roger Kellaway in a collaborative trio with guitarist Gene Bertoncini and bassist Michael Moore. Roger Kellaway is a versatile and ubiquitous pianist, often heard behind the scenes, supporting others in working in film and soundtrack work, creating scores, and even composing for the ballet. Among the general public, he's probably best known for composing and playing the closing theme for the hit 1970s sitcom All in the Family and the themes for the spin-off Archie Bunker's Place. A Massachusetts native, Kellaway is an alumnus of the New England Conservatory of Music. He released his first album in 1963 and has been active recording ever since. His one chiaroscuro album was a session called Roger Kellaway Meets the Duo, who were guitarist Gene Bertoncini and bassist Michael Moore, also both ubiquitous musicians who have been heard on many an album and soundtrack. Bertoncini was for many years the guitarist in the Tonight Show Orchestra with Johnny Carson, the band led by Doc Severinsen. Bassist Michael Moore worked with Marion McPartland, Bill Evans, Gil Evans, Benny Goodman, and Phil Woods, among others. The three got together to record at the famous Van Gelder Studios in New Jersey in 1992 in a distinctive drumless trio of piano, guitar, and bass, similar in configuration to the early Nat King Cole trio when Cole was pianist. The configuration is both a little challenging and offers an opportunity to really swing with first-rate musicians. The album is a mixture of jazz standards and original compositions with each of the three contributing tunes. Let's start with the trio's version of Jerome Kern's All the Things You Are, showing both a little classical and bossa nova influence. Thank you. 
All the Things You Are with Roger Kellaway on piano, Gene Bertoncini on guitar, and Michael Moore on bass. From the K.R. Skiro release, Roger Kellaway meets Gene Bertoncini and Michael Moore. One of the distinctive features of many Chiaroscuro CDs is the Jazz Speak track, in which the artists talk about the music in their own words. Here are the members of the trio talking about the piano, guitar, bass configuration, starting with Gene Bertoncini. One of the reasons that, that it's nice not to have a drummer, uh, aside from hearing the music in a way clearer because of that, but it, as far as the self sleep on the guitar I get a chance to do things rhythmically and percussively, that uh, that show that that side of the guitar, and it's a lot of fun to play rhythm. One of my favorite trio combinations, uh, why well, going back uh, to Tatum's trio, Nat King Cole's trio, and the early Oscar Peterson trio, and also the Ahmad Jamal trio with Ray Crawford. They they had uh, they didn't have uh, drummers in them, and I always like the, uh, the the kind of uh, communication that happens. With with uh, with that uh, instrumentation, and uh, so it seems it's real. Uh, I think it's part of both Roger and Gene and uh, my musical history. is It's something that uh, of our, uh, of yeah. our young we're, young years. We're all inspired by the combination. It's mm -hmm. actually it's a thrilling combination because it has within it a chamber music aspect to it, where there's the the, the air that goes between the instruments actually is filled up by by drums and cymbals and, and all of the things that are normally part of a trap set. And frankly, when you think about it, there are so few drummers around now that there are so few drummers left. I'm sorry to put it that way, but, but drummers that could play with us at the subtle levels that we play mm -hmm. yeah. and, and make a contribution. Right. There, I mean, there have been drummers that we've all worked with, like Shelley Mann is the first one that comes to mind, Mel Lewis, who could play in a situation like this and be respectful of the chamber aspect of it and have it all work. Mm, sure. Amazing. But more often than not, that's not the case. So this is a very challenging combination because the responsibility for music and swinging and, and contributing is on everybody's shoulder. There's no... Uh, there's no way out of that. I'll talk about my song. It's called Heat of the Night, and uh, it was a song I wrote in 1986, and uh, it was originally submitted as a main theme for a picture, and it was rejected because whoever listened to it didn't think the, the melody was memorable enough. So, How did uh, that, that melody go again? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have to... <laughs> I've based my life on writing melody, and I and uh, at this point in my life, I have to, even at that point in my life, I was amused by the the pink slip, and I thought, uh, I I don't know who listened to it, but anyway, I present this tune for for your uh, <laughs> listening pleasure. See if you can remember <laughs> the melody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Heat of the Night, written by pianist Roger Kellaway, with Gene Burton Sini on guitar and Michael Moore on bass, from the Chiaroscuro album, Roger Kellaway meets Gene Burton Sini and Michael Moore. Now here is more from their jazz speak with Michael Moore, talking about his contribution to the album. Well, uh, I've, I've been writing tunes for uh, on and off for 20 years, and I think I probably like uh, two or three of them. And uh, my, I... Uh, I wrote this song, uh, Living in England, uh, two years ago, and I put it away. It was a, it's a waltz. It's uh, called New Waltz because I couldn't think of a better title. And um, it, uh, when we were, we were planning to come over here, when I was planning to come over here, I thought, well, I, I just was playing through some of the things I wrote, and I thought it sounded like something that uh, would maybe work for the three of us. And uh, I must say, after I heard Gene and... Roger, what uh, what they did uh, with it, it uh, uh, made me even like it better. And I think that's maybe that's the secret to writing is get great guys to play your tunes. You know. Now here is Michael Moore's composition, Old New Waltz. <laughs> Thank you. 
Old New Waltz from the album Roger Kellaway meets Gene Burton Sr. and Michael Moore. Now here's more from their jazz speak with Gene Burton Sr. on his composition on the album. I often go out to hear Jim Hall play, and Jim has written some nice compositions. And uh, w- one night, you know how you, you know how you, uh, <clears throat> as a, as a, as a listener and a, another musician, I, it, just hearing one of Jim's composition one night, I said, you know, I, I'm going to go home and try to write something, and. Uh, I uh, I came up with this line based on softly as in the morning sunrise, definitely inspired by by listening to Jim Hall one night. I didn't steal it, <laughs> but uh, I think he really inspired me to sit down and try to write this. What's it called? It's called <laughs> softly, <laughs> softly or softly. <laughs> Thank you. 
Softly, composed by Gene Bertoncini from the Chiaroscuro album, Roger Kellaway meets Gene Bertoncini and Michael Moore with Kellaway on piano, Bertoncini on guitar, and Moore on bass, recorded in 1992. You can find this album, along with other recordings featuring Gene Bertoncini and Michael Moore, on Chiaroscuro on our website at chiaroscurojazz.org, where you can find a searchable database of the music and artists on the label. The music is available on CD as a download and streaming on Spotify. And you can also listen to continuous jazz from the over 100 albums available on Chiaroscuro 24 hours a day on the Chiaroscuro channel, available at the new and improved Chiaroscuro website. This is George Graham thanking you for tuning in to this Chiaroscuro podcast. Join us next time for more music from great jazz artists. <laughs>